so were you always into fashion growing up or did it just like happen well <clears throat> as you got as you got older for me growing up in georgia mm-hmm. you know other than like new orleans we don't have uniform so for me well when i first like from kindergarten i was in the catholic school so i had uniform uh-huh. And um, elementary, a little bit of elementary had uniform, but I would always like every Friday. Mm-hmm. I felt like Friday was a free day, so I would either keep on my slacks and wear a different shirt, uh-huh. or wear a different shirt. You know what I'm saying? No, wear different jeans and keep on my dress shirt for school. And I used to get in trouble all the time, but gotcha. I didn't because you know it was me expressing myself. So I always been into it, really. Most deaf. What about you, Cam? Um, I was in the sports growing up, and more into like drawing and art so before i got actually into clothes my sister and them for my going to like my 12th birthday okay they actually like took me to the, to the mall and and like had me buy jeans and these air maxes that these white and blue air max ones that i never gonna forget for a little wayne concert <laughs> and like ever since then like it was a rock star look too okay so like a lot of my you know style would look like you know rock stars mm-hmm. so it was like ever since then it was just it kind of took off from there, and I was like, man, I just always wanted to dress myself like that, you know. Most definitely. So, how did you guys get started on the fashion scene? Like, like, what made you say, you know what, I'm gonna come out of my bedroom and just decide, well, to just give it to people? It's a crazy story. Well, like, like several, separately, separately, I can say, I just started cutting up jeans, and that's like how we back to how. We're kind of from two different places. We both went to SLCC. Mm-hmm. And you know, like, when you fresh and you're your own person, you kind of recognize other people who have, you know, gear that's similar to yours and stuff like that. So I met him at um, SLCC and we just was like, oh shit, like, we right. kind of into the same fashion right. thing. And we started hanging out. And at first it wasn't even about fashion, we was just cool. Okay. And we always just talk fashion. And then I could say a year ago, a year, almost a year ago, I think in August it'll be a year. Okay. Uh, to where he started his brand. Yeah, he was talking about that. Um, I guess starting with like just when create clothes and having people like want to buy it. Uh-huh. It all started like whenever I was in my room, and I was going through a lot of time. Still going to SLCC um, with my friends Tave. Shout out to Tyler. Tyler was a huge like influence too, cause he always been on with Dennis Chanel. Okay, but um. Yeah, like I always wanted, it came up to like, man, I always wanted to like make my own brand. And then, you know, doing my friends a little key worldwide, we actually started doing like shirts and hoodies first. And I was kind of behind that look where, as far as how the graphics went. Mm-hmm. And me and my friends kind of pushed it from there. And it was like, you know, gave gave like, it was like giving a, a inspiration first. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What's tough? And then hoping like people would be like buy into the idea right. and then the clothes. Yeah. And I always, and when they was doing that um, with Loki Worldwide, and even when he started his uh, his bleaching and did run the city clothing, I just started like wanting yeah. to make something for myself. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I was always behind that, but he had put his stuff out to the forefront. I was just helping him. Like I didn't do none of this stuff, but we helped. I helped him. You know what I'm saying? Create his thing. Yeah. So then I was like, man. I know that's what I want to do. I know that's what I've been wanting to do. Uh-huh. And I have somebody, you know what I'm saying, who I can partner with. Because mm-hmm. we both, like, we'll just used to sit and smoke and be outside talking about, bro, we can do this and do this and this. Even before we started right, this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, Boy, man, yeah. we was talking about putting cloth on on Timberlands, like the flag mismatch before all this stuff started popping up. But, yeah, yeah, we just, yeah, like, they put it to the forefront. For sure. And that's one more important thing, too, is, like, you got an idea, you got to put that out. For sure, man. Hell yeah. yeah. So, like, were you guys hesitant to, like, tell people that, you know, I'm into styling now? Nah, nah, no. nah. It's, it was kind of like... Or was it, like, a smooth transition because you were already used to it? Like, you know, nah, cutting like, your own jeans and, and things like that? I don't know. It was crazy because you got to... Well, I don't know. I've been working at City Gear for, like... It was like three years, though, two and a half years it had to be before I, I quit. Or, mm-hmm. or they got rid of me. And I was kind of <laughs> like used to kind of like, you know, helping people get their outfits together and shit like that. Or like always going to like shop for myself. Mm-hmm. But like whenever I'm with this nigga, like we all just always put, we even go in girl stores, bro. Okay. Like, and like, yeah. yeah, and like just put outfits together. Okay. It's like, it's just norm now, you know what I'm saying? And for me, it was just like, 
Like, we in Atlanta, you know, everybody kind of fresh, you know, and I always, the circle that I always cut myself around was, you know, mm-hmm. we, we, we chill, but like, we, we know. We popping. Yeah, we know we popping, but we humble, you feel mm-hmm. me? So everybody knew how to dress, but my friends would still ask me, okay. like, you know, but this look good, or how this, right. you know what I'm saying, or like, wait, what should I, and I would always help them. Mm-hmm. And I had a kind of like a younger friend I took in, and he didn't hit. He didn't have the like the money and stuff like that. Okay. So like once he started getting the money, I started just you know helping him with ideas and stuff. And style has always just been a part of me. Like like, stuff. It was he. It was kind of like just I'm a stylist. Okay. Like we're stylists. For sure, man. What's the process of styling a client? Do you guys go off of what they want, or do you just? would like to do something you think would look good on the artist or uh, uh, whoever whoever you're styling well, honestly <laughs> since we started this i feel like the content that we put out even before we started this people entrust in our in our yeah like creative our creative ability, our creative ability. ability. Uh-huh. so they'll just be like go ahead to be honest for a lot of people and i feel like that that helps us more mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying it's easier when you have somebody who knows exactly what they want but it's kind of like cutting you from being you. Okay, like right. we know this right. can look better, you know. Like and then we peep you out too. We yeah, check like you know what I'm saying. Like stuff. we check, okay. you know, what I'm saying? see what you you yeah. wear, like what you used to wear, like what type of style you mm-hmm. go towards. Because now everybody is like the skateboard type. Okay. Everybody is more like you know casual, or they some people are dapper. Yeah, you know because me and him kind of have like we have the same style but two different styles. Right, like, because I dress more like dapper than him, and he he does, he does more yeah. skate street. Wear. Yeah, but we like, both love urban, okay. and he's trying to like you know I'm saying he's trying to broaden into getting into more like you know, like Taylor and uh-huh. stuff like that. So you know we help each other out. You okay. feel me? Yeah. Who have you worked with since uh, being in the business of styling? Dylan Troy. Dylan Troy. And he's an um, artist out of Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to him. Yeah, shout out to him. We got a nice little following too, and yeah. some music too. So be on the lookout for him. Time. Dylan Troy. Um, <clears throat> Flex, you know, what's next for Flex, you know? Yeah. Shout out to Flex.